right, hey, this is Hans, and it's time for another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles, and today we've got another one, and this is the last of the uh, ramen series from Daibok. This is a collaboration of Mummy Double Decker of uh, Malaysia and Shinsegai Food of South Korea. This is their uh, kimchi ramen. 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 Yes. How are you? Good, I hope. Yeah? Great. That's, that's good. A noodle block going in the boil. And how long does this go for? This is for uh, four to five minutes. So we will do four and a half minutes. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. You can't hold down the button on this one. So there, that's close enough. So yeah, there's that. Well, I hope everyone's having a, a splendid day. I'm pretty happy myself. I went out and I did my walk in and I'm back. We were supposed to get like five inches of snow. You know how much we got? That much. None. None. None that I could see. It looks like it's snowing north of here, but it kind of sprinkled when I was out doing my walk. And uh, nothing horrendous. I'm from Washington, so it doesn't affect me. <laughs> but now we've got this crap. See that sunshine? Everybody loves the sunshine except for my camera when I'm trying to uh, shoot pictures of noodles in the window, which is very difficult when the sunshine occurs. So that's. I am really happy when it does rain. It doesn't have to rain, just if it's overcast. That's that's the best. This way, I've got to put like the blinds down, and I got to put stuff in the way to keep it from being all glare because it'll just come out just like a big bright blob and it's not not good I used to take shots right here I used to like put the bowl there and put on the the food effect on the camera and do the long shot that way but that doesn't work for overhead shots so yeah no so it's a pain but it's nature what do you do I can't pave over the sun. If I could, I would for short periods of time. But I am going to make the sun go away, if at all possible. So you can see that sun there. Just get cloudy. Go on. Go on, get cloudy. Go away, sun. I'm the god of ramen, I should be able to do certain things. At least that's what I've been called. I never, I never started that. That's, that's crazy. Come on. Oh, it's intensifying. Great. Sometimes I can pull that off. It's called coincidence. Coincidentally, the sun goes away when I do that. Sometimes. Not today. Had a good walk. I, uh, my buddy Jamie clued me in about uh, these albums by this guy named uh, Jean-Luc Ponty. He's a violin player, a lot of fusion jazz stuff. And he, he played with Zappa. And uh, he was like, oh, if you like that, you'll like this. Oh, no, no. So I'm like, okay, I'll check it out. And uh, I got the discography. So I was like walking as fast as I could down the trail playing like fusion funky violin music it was crazy it was fun and there see it just took a couple minutes folks but the sun is backing off and uh, oh come on it's better than it was that's actually doable for taking photos over there on the uh 
but that, yeah, we'll see. We shall see if the uh, hot yellow moon becomes a problem, then I'm going to have to do something about it. This is almost done. It's getting better even, yeah. Come on, just be cloudy. You were supposed to snow today, Sky. Come on. Made some chicken to go with this. I use this stuff uh, today, at least. I don't use it all the time, and it's not right here. Um, it's called bone sucking seasoning for chicken. It's really quite good. It's it's sweet, it's tasty, savory, delicious. But I recommend that. My wife got me. Where's that? Is that up there now? Where'd it go? It's just called no shit, and it's. It doesn't have any sodium in it, but I mean, if you put it with something that does have sodium, it works really well. But it's a really, really nice uh, seasoning I enjoy thoroughly as well. I don't know where my scissors went. I know I had more scissors. But... Okay, I'll let you take a look at this. I'll do the stirring in, you know, a little ASMR experience with that. Good, good sun. The sun's being good. Look at all that. There's kimchi in there too. Stirring, stirring, stirring the kimchi. I did a show, a Korean like radio show, and the way the guy said ramen was like. I guess it's because he's Korean, but he was like, Lemian. It was like a cross between, it was like a Korean Casey Kasem. It was, it was funny. When you, when you uh, cook Lemian. It's funny though, because R's being pronounced as L's, that's pretty common because the dialect doesn't really use R's, I think. I can't remember. No, I don't know. But we had an exchange student. I don't know where she was from, but she was Asian when I was in high school. And she was supposed to, like, our, we were in honors English, and we were supposed to, like, do a, a cliche or a, or a saying or something. And the one she got was, like, resting on your laurels. And her trying to pronounce the word laurels, it, it, it was rough. I mean, that's that's like, I think that's like a phonetic nightmare. Everybody was laughing. Or, like, eh. Don't laugh at people. Except when they do something stupid. That wasn't something stupid. Noodle. Hmm. This one is quite salty. By the way, and again, I'll use this one again. A shout out to Ramen Hero. They no longer are with us. They supplied, you could, you could get overnighted ramen in the mail. But everybody's going outside again, so that kind of killed that, I think. Neat idea. Wow. Some really punchy kimchi flavor right there. Very strong. Nice and acidic. It's, it's, got, it's, it's got all the notes that you're looking for in, a, in kimchi. I mean, it tastes like... Like if you had some kimchi and you'd put a little dash of salt on it. It's good. That one I like a lot. You know, I've been, I gotta admit, I'm really surprised by this range. I, there were flavor profiles in there that I expected to be ones that I absolutely would totally dislike. And they repeatedly just surprised the heck out of me. And I really like that. There was a seaweed one. I was like, mm, that one was quite good. And there was a uh, mushroom one. And I 
thought it was just gonna be like horrible shiitake mushroom all the way. No, no, it was quite good. In fact, it reminded me of like the popular varieties of uh, Korean noodles that I'm sure everybody has heard of, but I won't mention right now. Go like this. Right. Oh, there's some chicken. There's some chicken for you. And then we got an egg. I'm gonna try to do right by this egg. The last couple times, I've gotten them just in the wrong spot. I'm gonna try doing it like this. One, two, three. Mm. Little better. I can live with that egg. Yeah, I did these up yesterday when I was getting my stuff ready. To do the Wonder Chosen. Oh, have you ever seen that? It was an MTV show. It was for adults, but it was like supposed to be like a horrible children's show. In fact, they had a uh, disclaimer at the beginning that said, if you let your children watch this, you're a bad parent. <laughs> but it was a funny show. And it's spelled just like it sounds Wonder Chosen. Chosen with a Z. But yeah, very disturbing stuff. I miss MTV the way it used to be. MTV used to be really neat, but you know. There's some crushed red pepper. Oh, that's our dog's name. Sorry, sorry. You're all right over there. Our dog is napping. that's all she wrote on that one folks nice yeah um if you are in malaysia or wherever they sell these i i highly recommend this range it's it's really really good flavors are punchy and bright and good and yeah that's what i got to say about that For this episode of It's New Recipe Time, your favorite show that you've ever seen in your life, uh, the next one is this. And it's a cup. It's a Marishan variety. And it's, uh, well, you'll see from the description or the title in the video, I don't remember what it is, but it's wonton. Yeah. So that's coming up on the next episode of It's New Recipe Time. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, it helps me out. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Oh.